Final Monday, and we start our coverage at the Class 2A Milliken Softball Super between Effingham St. Anthony and Quincy Notre Dame. The Bulldog Bats come to play in the top of the first. Addison Rios singles home Cameron Rios. Then the big hit later in the frame. Addie Wernsing sends a ball deep to left, straight to the fans out there on the berm. Just like that, a few batters in. It's a 3-0 game. QND responds with three of its own in the bottom half, but the Santa Ana Bats not deterred. It's Addison Rios once again, this time sending a ball to the wall. It's 6-3 in the fifth. Fifth, and they're still not done adding to that lead. Weren't seeing once again another run scoring play. The Bulldogs end up needing all of that offense as well. After QND cuts it to one and puts two runners on in the bottom of the seventh, pitcher Lacey Fearday gets the double play to end the game. 7 6 the final. St. A going back to state and having some fun post game. It's crazy. We did it my freshman year in 1A and we got moved up. We were a little scared of getting moving up because it's a bigger school. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's bigger schools and we didn't know how we would handle it, but we handled it pretty well this year and we're super excited. This is so amazing. This is the uh, best feeling ever and we're, we're ready. We want more. We're so hungry. I feel like it's still super surreal, but I feel like we're not done. We still got the next game to play and this, this moment just propels us to that next game. And it's so exciting. St. Anthony will face Rockridge Friday at 5.30 in Peoria in the semifinals. Meanwhile, in 1A softball, Leroy playing for its first trip to state in program history, taking on Ottawa Marquette. Scoreless game going into extras. Top eight, Morgan Fleming to center. It drops in right in front of the center fielder to put the Panthers in scoring position. Then Natalie Loy hits the grounder up the middle in the eighth to bring home a run. We will have a play at the plate for the second run. She is coming home and safe. The throw is off the mark and a great game by both pitchers after Marquette scores in the bottom half of the eighth. Panthers pitcher Lily Long with the rise ball for the strikeout to win the game. Two on the final. Leroy moving on to the final four. Honestly, I don't even really know what to think. Uh, it's something you always dream of, always you want to accomplish as a coach. They just believe in themselves, and it's it's fun to be a part of right now. I had a good feeling about this game, and I thought we would come through with the win like we did. And I just we all stayed calm this whole game, and we fought to the end. Leroy plays a line I bluffs 12:30 Friday in Peoria in the state semifinals. To baseball, Milford also in Bloomington at the Wesleyan Super taking on Henry Centrowine. Mallard's pitcher Lance Kaiswetter hard to barrel up gets the strikeout to end the inning. He had seven Ks in the game. The Bearcats do threaten in the six. Runners on second and third. Chase Cluter lays down the bunt. Throw is to first. That allows a run to come home. And now a runner on third for Carson Shields. He rips one to left. Bearcats cut the deficit to one, but that's as close as they get. Milford season comes to a close with a 3-2 loss. For a baseball program, you know, these seniors have, have elevated it and have been the standard bearers um, for decades to come. They're going to talk about this team and this group. Um, and we're extremely proud of them. For the ends its season 17, 12, and 1. Best postseason finish in school history. Meanwhile, at the 1A SIU Super in Carbondale, St. Anthony gets Goreville. The Bulldogs trailed 4 1 after 1, but rally in the second. A base is loaded hit by pitch, made it 4 2. Then Brock Fierde rips one to the right fielder. He can't come up with it. Two runs score. We were tied at 4 and had a brand new ball game. Top three, St. A with the bases loaded. Ryan Schmidt, hot shot to third. Bearcats get the force out. Max Koning scores 5 4. Bulldogs lead. Top of the seventh, St. A had the tying and go-ahead runs on with two outs, but Will Hone flies out to right to end it. The Bulldogs season comes to an end in Carbondale, 6-5 the final. Also in 1A at the Lincoln Land Super, it's Jacksonville route against Waterloo Jabot. Top of the second, Jace Lautman rips a high fly ball to right. It's caught. One run will score on the sacrifice. Rockets grab the 1-0 lead, but Hawks with a big rally in the fifth. Ty Frederick, a long fly ball to deep left field. Field. It is out of here for a three run home run. Jabot scores seven runs, taking the lead, and they win it 7 3, the final in that one.